Hi, this is Dr. Joe with Posture Screen. In this tutorial, we're gonna walk you through just a simple two-view posture assessment. Of course, Posture Screen does so much more. In this tutorial, we're just gonna do the two-view. Now, the first thing that you should always think about, and I say this so often, but I need to drive this point home, is you want the patient in very tight-fitting clothing, or better yet, we're gonna have the men with just their shirt off, barefoot in shorts, because if this is a clinical exam in your exam room, there's no reason not to have the patient changed. Women, sports top and shorts is ideal, okay? I have a whole tutorial on proper clothing. If not, you want the clothing to be snug. If it's baggy, like me in the jacket, you can't see what you need to see, and the, the uh, artificial intelligence is fantastic, but it doesn't have x-ray vision either. So with that being said, take heed and try to do this so that way you can offer your patient or client the best, most accurate assessments possible, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I've already put in the patient's information up here. So you're gonna need to have, obviously, are they male or female? You're gonna have to have their first name, last name, their height, and just know that you have these arrows here too. So like if I need to change the height, I can go ahead and come in, if I need to change their body weight, I can go ahead and scroll through what their body weight is. And many people ask, well, why do I need to put the body weight in? It's because we use that as a prediction of what their head would weigh, okay? The, the email address is optional, the phone number is optional. If you're linking this to an EHR client, you'll have to put in your EHR number for that patient. You have two or four views on this. We're gonna go ahead and do two views. It's either two or four, not three, two or four, okay? And you also have a toggle up here if you wanna um, remove the background or crop out the background. So I'll discuss that in another tutorial and I'll show you right after this. But the big thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do in this, and I belabor the point is on the iPad, the camera's off to the side, okay? This is very important for you because I need this perpendicular with the person. If I'm shifted left or right, that can kind of make the person from a perspective, and this is just camera perspectives, make them look like they're all laterally flexed one side to the other. The other thing is you gotta make sure the device is not rotated relative to the person. I can be perpendicular, but the staff member could be holding the device like this. Not so good because the same thing can happen. The good news is we can control for lateral bending of the device and auto subtract that out. So you'll see sometimes on some of your photos, if it looks like it's on a slant, like there's gonna be some image on the, the sides of the, the uh, image of the photograph, that was the app basically zeroing out the lateral flexion, okay, which is, which is key. That's even more paramount when we do things like range of motion with posture screen. So let's go ahead and show you how easy this is. So I have them, I'm not gonna teach you how to do a posture analysis. If you want more information, I suggest you attend our seminars at Chiropractic Biophysics Seminars. But we have him standing and he's already set up with a slight abnormal posture, okay, for, for show. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that the camera is in line with him, the device is in, in line with him, kind of look at the floorboard, how does the floorboard look? Now this being green up here versus red, that's just for tip. That's just a suggestion. It doesn't mean you can't snap the picture. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure I could even zoom in here if I wanted to. And then we're just gonna go ahead and snap the picture. And then I'm gonna ask him to turn to the side and snap the picture. Okay, now at this point, this is, this is all that needs to be done at that point in time. You can come back later and do this next step. And it's important that the clinician who's in charge or the fitness professional, make sure you double check the points because you may have to move and tweak some points, but you can do that right here, right now in this exam without moving any further. So come on back in, let me show you. So at this point in time, you could hit save and finish later or start digitization. So if I click start digitization, it will approximate the points that you want. Now, do I need to change anything there? No, that looks pretty good. So if I go ahead and, and next, what do I need to change here? So I can pan and zoom and say, you know what? I'm gonna need to move this down and more to the greater trochanter. Um, I'm gonna move this. This is a point that I'd like to move up to the base center of the neck 
and this point I'm gonna go ahead and move to right here. So that way that line goes down the, the base center of the neck. And at this point in time, I'm ready to go. Here are my screens that I could pan and, and show the patient. The results are all right here. Um, I'll have another tutorial on the results and how this is analyzed. But from here, all you need to do is click send, send to view posture evaluation, and you hit email PDF report. Now, mind you, the Apple default mail app needs to already be configured. Here, we're just gonna preview just so you can see, and all this could be customized with color, text, and you can even remove our logo. So that's how easy it is to do a two view posture screen. If you have any more questions, reach out to support at posturescreen.com. Thank you.